So 2025 has not been a very good year as far as the jobs are concerned. The layoffs are happening guys. 2025 so far we have had 72,000 layoffs so far. Microsoft has cut significant number of workforce. 6,000. We made a video about it in May and now recently, I think June or July, 9,000 more. Similarly, 150 plus companies are making cuts. But this video is about a career which continues to grow among all this crisis, all this job crisis. And in fact, it actually is becoming stronger. So this video is, you know, of an insight which might help you. And for the detailed roadmap, we have a different video which will come on to later. But let's understand this. OK, let's understand why, because I think you might have guessed which is the role by now, but we'll still talk about it and see whether we can position ourselves better or not. So I'll start with the example of a recent incident which happened in my housing society where I stay. OK, so imagine this. This is our society and we were facing some shortages uh, on the maintenance funds and uh, there was a meeting which happened and in that meeting we decided that we have to cut funds, but where to cut funds from? A lot of suggestion came in. Someone said, cut off you know additional cost we are paying for you know cleaning workers we can uh, get it uh, done by 50 percent half or cut uh, the landscaping uh, cost like gardening and everything or cut some uh, lift maintenance cost or you know shut down uh, shut down the pool area for some time all those kind of things happen but do you know there was one department which no one even thought of they could never dream of cutting anything out of it as far as my society is concerned and I think it's for your society as well and that was you guessed it my security we cannot compromise with it we cannot security is paramount and no matter how much you are struggling uh, with losses and everything your security has to be top-notch and that is the topic of this particular video why security is booming why cybersecurity is becoming the trend now you know is the idea and my job is to let you know that what's happening so we're gonna discuss some numbers which are coming up and i think you might find it very interesting so guys it is estimated that in coming few years we will have almost 3.5 million opportunities or the job openings for cybersecurity professionals globally and 1.5 million would alone be in india that is the estimation again these are figures and estimations so yeah there could be some variance but overall picture looks like this that regardless of what is happening in the cloud market in uh, ai market whatever layoffs are happening no one is touching security because they know the cost they have to bear and it is very very heavy for example ransomware attack alone has increased by 300 percent the average cost of data breach data breach uh, is like someone penetrating into your data and trying to steal information it you know the average cost is somewhere around i think 17 or 18 crores per breach something like that i'm not very sure on the number but it's very heavy very very heavy like even if it is a small breach it costs you money and you know 93 percent of it companies in india are planning to increase their job openings for security they are looking to increase 93 percent is not the total increase in the job and 93 percent it companies are considering increasing their cyber security presence and every 11 second there is some attack happening somewhere every 11 seconds so as the systems are getting smarter the hackers are getting even more smarter and here comes the main part if you want to get into cyber security you have to plan it okay and there are a lot of myths for example someone thinks that uh cyber security career is only for techies or coders no guys there are many people who come from different backgrounds and do very well in cybersecurity. In fact, from non-technical backgrounds as well. You need to be good at, you know, understanding compliance, regulatory compliance. Maybe you could be coming from a networking background. So on that, I have created a very detailed video. You should watch it. It is the whole and sole video on the roadmap for cybersecurity, where we have got into the depth of every aspect through which you can move or progress in this career this video is more about an insight but that is a more detailed video so some careers which are coming to my mind at a very initial level you can be a SOC analyst it is like you know security operation center so this particular uh, team uh, monitors the security of your overall environment and these people the initial level at the initial level you can enter as SOC analyst a very good transition could be from an IT support uh, role into SOC analyst another career 
uh, which is more developer side, not developer in the sense that you need to know a bit of scripting, you need to know Kali Linux, all these kind of tools to perform pen testing. So this is penetration tester. This is also a very good role. Again, see the video. We have talked about it in detail. Other could be ethical hacker. All these ethical hacker, a pen tester, all these people try to hack their own system before anyone else does. So the whole point is to find vulnerability beforehand. And this is a very important thing because if someone else finds it out, it's going to be really costly. Again, one more coming to my uh, mind is a cyber security consultant or architect architect who will design the whole security design of your system okay what kind of security you will have that will be the role of an architect the security architect and the consultant will define your role roadmap how you want to take cyber security forward sometimes you give this to consulting companies to do it for you but yeah cyber security architect and consultants are really good really nicely paid i think regardless of layoff i see this becoming a very very good area to focus on and you can have a very dedicated roadmap to start your learning and at a very basic level just to give you some nuggets because you might be too busy to watch my other video i will still say go watch it but still i'll give you some insights so if you're coming from an it support background or a networking background that's a very good start if you are coming from a completely non-technical background, then you have to understand basic IT fundamentals and networking, bit of security, bit of cyber security, compliance, laws, regulations. What is hacking? What is encryption? See, cyber security is very vast. You have to understand it. It is very vast. But if you start at the right time, it's not difficult to penetrate because not everyone is targeting this section or this area you know my suggestion for you would be that in these layoffs when everyone is getting laid off i will never uh, see a situation where the whole cyber security area will be taken over by ai because you are also having a threat via ai you don't know you can't trust your ai systems as well who knows if someone could manipulate uh, the contextual information they are having and your whole agentic AI systems uh, start misbehaving. And there is a concept which is called as self-harming. So, you know, the system might start self-harming itself. So you can never get people out of this sector. And security, be it my society or be it your career or be it any company, security is never, uh, you know, negotiated because just for example, a simple data breach could cost 20 crore or 30 crore or 50 crore or 100 crore rupees loss to a company why can't they pay 20 lakhs per annum to cyber security professional or 30 lakhs per annum or you know what is the disadvantage they're having see security is like the attacker only has to succeed once regardless of 99 percent times when you were successful no one's gonna come and say well done okay and that's why i think cyber security kinds of become slightly boring to someone people have this perception that cyber security is more about fault finding slowing down the development work no not doing things but finding ways to stop doing things but it's not like that now with frameworks like devsecops we can make a video on that as well if you want uh, let me know in the comment if you want to learn devsecops we can talk about this framework we are now embedding security as our partner you know previously what used to happen is we used to define everything and at the end we used to consult security which was too late so now right at the start of your project initiation you involve security they check if you are on the right track are you following all the guidelines the framework the design patterns for a very robust and secure system and that's where your cloud architects cloud engineers everyone needs to own a bit of security concepts like zero trust architecture where the concept says that you trust nothing those kind of architectures are you know picking up pace so i would say good if you are already into some of the fields like linux it support administration authorization cloud administration or any kind of role where you have got a glimpse of it you already know the value but even if you are not you can plan it there are a lot of good universities provide cyber security certifications but i would say that uh, certifications or degrees i, I know one of my friend who, who was from a data analyst background but he came to uk and did masters in cyber security and landed a very very good job so that's also a path but not everyone can pay for the school fees or college fees and come so far so you have to start somewhere so uh, i think uh, we have talked about certification like cissp which is a very good certification to have there are multiple other uh, certifications which you can target 
and try to build a career around this. I think this is going to be a very valuable uh, career and you should definitely focus on. So as a homework, I would say, guys, go back, think about it and see if you can dedicate next six to 12 months into this and start applying, start building a portfolio where you can showcase that you have actually done good work. Kali Linux, go and install Kali Linux on your laptop. If you don't know how to do it, let me know and we can make a video of that as well. Let's deploy Kali Linux. Let's try to hack the password of our Wi-Fi. It is doable. Okay, you will understand how vulnerable we are on a day-to-day -day basis. It's very, very interesting. So if you start finding that, you know, it's good. And also one more thing coming to my mind. Cybersecurity has two paths. One is technical, another is regulatory. Okay, so you based on your inclination can decide. So for example, there are rules which is GRC rules, governance, risk and compliance rules, which are more auditory in nature. So these rules need you to look into the regulations, laws, cybersecurity laws, country laws. So it is more like that. But not many people want to read those heavy documentation or build guidelines and all that. They are not very uh, good in that they want to go and hack a system then you can become an ethical hacker or a penetration tester so there are they, you know it's it's not that only one cyber security professional is there in the whole company no there are different roles pockets where you can play a role you can also become a product owner of a cyber security product which you have built in-house in your company so yeah there are there are multiple ways to get into this and i won't drag much but yeah i just wanted to convey this message because in these times when we are facing such uncertainties in the job market we have to bulletproof ourselves we have to safeguard ourselves for the future and i think this is one of the best options to have so i hope this was a useful insight and let me know if you want such insights for other career roadmaps or career roles and i'll try my best to bring something on that as well so until next time keep learning keep sharing and keep growing bye for now